So, uh, do you think this course um, opened up your mind for strategies? Yeah, I mean, I would say that because uh, as you learn, uh, by the day when I learned the best practices, uh, as I progressed, you know, new thoughts are coming in. I started relating to my website, you know, what are the errors that I've been doing and uh, what is that I can uh, do to make it better. And, uh, and that, even that, uh, you know, that, 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 I, that thought has changed, you know, over days. And I actually now I can better the thought that I had on the first day to make it better. Okay. You know, so, so I mean, it truly opened my mind. I would say that, and uh, and now uh, there are a lot more thoughts and ideas that are going in. And uh, right now I'm also uh, recruiting a lot more people. You know, for the now I know who who should do what. You know, for the result that I need to get. So I'm also recruiting uh, more people for it, and uh, so uh, you know I've uh, I have a big picture in mind right now. Uh, right after this course, I mean this course, we finished this course a couple of hours ago, right? <laughs> and yeah, but before that, I've uh, already chalked out, chalked down, uh, you know, a strategy for the company, and uh, already got approval from the management, you know, to right. take this forward, and uh, so coming up with the strategy. And uh, to go uh, slightly away from uh, you know the whole approach of the today's uh, the current trends of uh, outsourcing, or you know uh, we don't want to pollute it more. <laughs> right. I would say, though we're an outsourcing company, you know uh, you know our competitors just uh, polluted the entire thing, and uh, outsourcing has become such a tolerated uh, word right now in the Western world. Right. So we're trying to go around it, around the whole concept of outsourcing, and see how we can bring business to the company, and you know, making basically trying to have a parallel universe, you know, with the, with the current trends. And, uh, and for that, um, SEO is criti critical. Very critical. Okay. Very critical. Yeah, very critical. So mm -hmm. now, the way you come up with content, the way you, the way you name your website, mm -hmm. the way you so you need to have like at least three steps ahead. You need to think three steps ahead, uh, you know, to have a strategy in mind. Because uh, if you have one or two, it's just not enough. Because you'll exhaust those steps in no time, and then uh, you'll be wondering what to do next. So at every step, you need to have three steps uh, ahead. So you need to know you have the, you need to have clarity. And uh, so. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> now, what are the, some of the myths that you understood? Okay, this is an audit reality, this, this is a myth. During the worst, did you come across anything like you know, a, lot, submission and a lot, yeah. a lot, a lot. Can you give me some uh, examples? First, starting off with keywords, like meta keywords. Uh, you know, um, I when I did my research, you know, it, uh, it was strangely that all the top websites, you know, the certain websites restricted the restricted keywords, meta keywords are 10. Right. Certain websites restricted uh, the keywords to less than 2, 3. And certain websites, uh, you know, have uh, uh, you know spam it with like 50, 60. I have all the details mm -hmm. with me. So when I first glanced at it, I'm wondering why people have given two, and I'm wondering why people have given 50. Right. You know? So I thought, okay, this guy is ranking ranking ahead because of all the 50 keywords that he's mentioned the meta keywords. So and uh, that's one thing, and that's one of the myths that I had. And the other thing is directory submissions. I mean, yeah, well, I mean, you submit it directly, but, but what's the value? I mean, that's the, but uh, since directory submission is uh, equal to link building, and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't couldn't comprehend the, couldn't comprehend the connection between it, but, well, I just went with the flow, I and mean, what people were saying, so I didn't dig too much into it. But uh, after the course, now I know uh, keywords are not necessary. And uh, and also the directory submissions uh, have no value. So, so would, um, are you able to uh, identify or do you know now where to go to get the updates and what are the updates from search engines and how important it is? Yeah. So uh, <coughs> now I know exactly where to go because uh, I mean I should 
say that you guided me towards uh, where I can find the best, uh, uh, best places where I can get good information on SEO. Uh, search Engine Land is one, okay. uh, one, one place, uh, one website where I have registered as a member and uh, now I have like access to the best information I would say in the SEO industry, okay. the best people talking about it, uh, I mean, giving, writing articles and and uh, my web, and I had uh, a problem with the robots dot uh, robots dot text. And I was just wondering what to do because I was learning about the day and then I looked through it and there were like thousand odd articles just on robots dot txt. So I know this is the best place for any SEO person to you know to be uh, to be, uh, to be updated with the current trends. Yes. So um, is that um, how? How was the course? Was it enough or too long or was it right? Or what the what course was evenly based. I would say, I mean, at least uh, I could comprehend uh, what you were saying much easier. I don't know about others, but I like the pace that you had uh, with me. And because uh, honestly, if, it, if I felt it was much quick, much uh, ahead of, you know, uh, of, of, uh, of it, then I would have obviously stopped and said, hey, uh, going a little yeah. fast, but I didn't feel that I was, uh, you were with me, I was with you, so, uh, with, you know, with the pace of the program, and, uh, and uh, we in fact, uh, yeah. with the pace, I mean, we, I think we completed the course in the right time, right. and uh, we touched base upon all the key points, the necessary points that uh, we decided on, on discussing during the course. So. That's uh, something. So, what is the kind of suggestion or advice that you would give to anybody who is either you know in the industry or who is going to get into this industry? What I would advise uh, people to, uh, you know, who are getting into this industry is that uh, you know first get your concepts right. You know, before going to become an SEO. For, I, mean, there's, I don't know when there's a point where you can call yourself an SEO expert or an SEO professional because uh, Google doesn't let you, uh, you know, call yourself an SEO expert because they keep changing the algorithm. So you need to keep learning. It's a learning process. And moreover, what I would, what I would like to tell, uh, you know, what I always tell now off late is that SEO is more like a mindset. You know, it is not a profession. It's a mindset where you need to think only in terms of SEO, you know, when, when, when you're working on a website. So, uh, your ideas have to revolve around it, your concepts have to revolve around it, your strategy has to revolve around it, your goal has to revolve around it. You know, keeping, I mean, as Google says, keeping the users in mind, but yeah, well, for a business, yeah, users are necessary, but for your website content and your SEO practices are necessary. So. You know, uh, I would, what I would say is get your concepts right. Uh, don't call yourself an SEO expert because that's like a cap. Right. That's like a cap on your head. Uh, I mean, probably it's restricting your growth. You know, you call yourself an SEO alone. Exactly. Um, so, and uh, and always, uh, you know, SEO is a mindset. So start believing in it as soon as possible because it's going to give you results. It's only going to give you results when you start believing. In so, so that's that's something that I've uh, taken to my heart. Excellent. So, would you uh, recommend this program to anybody else? Who wants to? Certainly, I would uh, recommend uh, you know a lot more people. Please, uh, Suresh is a great guy. You know, uh, he has got a lot of experience, uh, international experience. He's been to. Uh, the international conferences, he knows the best of the best uh, people in the industry. There was a certain incident, uh, you know, this, this, I mean, I was trying to show him that this is the SEO book that I have uh, that I started learning. And to my surprise, he actually knew three of the four authors. So that's how much, uh, you know, he's a credible source. Uh, you know, he will help you, to, uh, you know, take your uh, concepts ahead. And uh, now you're praising me now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not really. I mean, your uh, your work and your knowledge is speaking for itself, and uh, you know, uh, I don't have to you know put in anything much. But then uh, this, uh, you you are very active at the summits. Uh, you know, you have the leadership qualities. So so 
the Suresh is the right person uh, you know, to get an SEO course done with and I'm happy I got done with, uh, done from him. And uh, so yeah, I mean he's showing me a lot more, uh, showing me the SEO world mm -hmm. around so he's the SEO guide I must say. Well, thank you, uh, that's nice words of yours, thank you. Um, yeah, I have to tell that um, I have I learned a lot during this period of course. Um, could be <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.